I'm trying to be grown and sexy. I don't want to be smelling like cupcakes no more. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Shay. Welcome back to the channel where we talk about beauty, nursing, and lifestyle weekly. As you can tell in today's title, we are going to get right into the beauty tier talking about fragrances. What were my favorite fragrances of last year and what do I look forward in using next year? Part of one of my goals for this year in 2022 is to make sure I'm using what I have instead of going out and buying the next best thing. And in order to do that, you got to know what you liked and what you didn't like. So I'm going to tell you guys what was my most complimented, what was my favorite, what was I bathing myself in, and what I really like to wear in 2021. I have some Buju on a Budget items here, as well as a couple Lux too. So if you're interested, make sure you stay tuned and let's go ahead and get started. Sis, is you subscribed? Are you not subscribed? What are you doing? Make sure you subscribe so you can stay up to date when I post videos like this. Now, let's get started. Okay guys, so I'm gonna try to go back and forth between fragrance mist and perfumes. Just so if you're somebody that doesn't wear perfumes or somebody that doesn't wear mist, you kind of get the best of both worlds in this video. Um, the first one I need to talk to y'all about like when I mention this, some of y'all might click off, but you need to stay tuned because I'm going to tell you about, about this thing right here. And this thing right here is pecan pumpkin waffles or pumpkin pecan waffles from Bath and Body Works. Y'all, so I'm going to tell y'all exactly how and when I fell in love with this and it might trigger you to fall in love with it in the same way. So you know Bath and Body Works comes out with their fall line. I'm trying to be grown and sexy. I don't want to be smelling like cupcakes no more. But guys, there's something about a woman that smells gourmand. There's a difference between smelling like a bakery and smelling gourmand. Gourmand is just like, like just edible. Like you just smell like you fragrance the room and your aroma. And that's what I get from this scent. Um, I'm going to tell y'all, before I even picked up the spray, before I even picked up the lotion, for some odd reason, I don't remember if I watched someone and they told me this, I decided to pick up the body wash. And y'all, I ain't never smelled. I never had nobody show me all the things that this can show me. Okay, this body wash, oh baby, it smells so good. So let me tell you about the top notes because I think the notes is what makes this smell so good. So the notes in here are maple syrup, golden waffles, pumpkin spice, and brown sugar. Now, before you get turned away, let me tell y'all what really throws in this. The brown sugar and some, I think the waffles, like the buttery smell of the waffles really come out in all of these. And that's what makes it smell so good. I will layer this baby with a few other combinations. I will wear her on her own. And guys, I've gotten so many compliments, especially from men. I was surprised. Like one guy smelled me one day and he was just like, oh my God, what do you have on? You smell so good. And I was like, oh, I was like, this is some bad money work, okay? <laughs> but guys, um, I this is probably gonna be the most I talk about a fragrance in this whole video. Do not sleep on this. Do not sleep on the pumpkin pecan waffles. Um, some people don't like the syrup smell in it, but I'm telling you, I'm not typically someone for like those sweet fragrances. Like they have like a blueberry waffle and they have the strawberry pound cake and all that stuff. I'm not doing all that because I don't want to smell like a bakery, but this, this smell good, okay? <laughs> this right here. And if you ever see me in Bath & Body Works have the trio combo, what I mean by the trio combo is a lotion, a spray, and a body wash. That means I really enjoy the fragrance. Okay guys, so let's jump right into a perfume. So the next perfume I am going to talk about is definitely in the bougie on a budget category. I feel like she's very slept on. And when I show it to you guys, again, you're gonna be like, what? So this is what she looks like. And the first time anyone sees this, you're thinking teenager, you're thinking very like cute, um, not really like grown sexy, but just a little feminine. Do not let the bottle fool y'all. Y'all, this is Ari by Ariana Grande. And I like her so much to the point I'm gonna show y'all what I did for Christmas. I got her in a big boy. I got her in a three ounce bottle. That's how much I liked this perfume. So this perfume, guys, is perfect as a daily fragrance. She's definitely in the floral category, but she definitely has 
a good base note you guys know i talk about base notes all the time like vanilla warm but still just a pretty scent she's very feminine and she's very perfect for everyday wear this is one of the perfumes i would say you can only wear anywhere um everyday errands date night um if you work like in an office or in a casual or business casual setting i think she is very good to be someone's signature scent now I'm gonna tell you guys what the top notes in this is because I'm gonna pull them up. So she's in the floral gourmand family. She has top notes of crispy pear and pink grapefruit. She has heart notes of juicy raspberry, soft mignonette, and rosebuds. And she has a base note of vanilla orchid, marshmallow, creamy musk, and blonde woods. So if you don't have this in your collection, she's so affordable. Um, I got my first little baby bottle from Burlington Co. Factory. She came in a set, I believe, for about 20 bucks, or you can get the bottle on its own for 15. And if you want to upgrade to the big boy like I have, if you love it so much, I went right on Rebel Sense and I got this, I think, for like 40 bucks. And guys, this is gonna last me forever. This is a three ounce bottle. So I'm telling you, do not sleep on Ari. She smells good okay, guys the next fragrance mist i'm going to tell you about is very plain jane it's very something that's been out for a little bit but i think it's so good and it's so um feminine and it's also very classic like straight to the point what it is and people know like if somebody smells you they're gonna be like you literally smell like this or what it's supposed to be so it is bare vanilla by victoria's secret so bare vanilla is very fragrant she's very long lasting literally if someone smells you they're gonna be like you smell like vanilla this is one of i think my biggest complimented fragrances of the year y'all and i was actually shocked by it myself because she's a little old victoria's secret body mist like who would think but it's something about vanilla that really gets men's wheels turning i don't know what it is but men really gravitate towards those vanilla scents that's another reason i mentioned that ari from before that also has a big structural vanilla in it and i also get a lot of compliments on that from men also so bare vanilla just has whipped vanilla soft cashmere um in it is from victoria's secret as y'all can see this is how far i've gotten a bottle i actually had a travel size before then and i emptied the travel size and decided to go ahead and get the spray like i said she's simple plain plain jane straight to the point vanilla but you will be shocked at her longevity and how many people and heads she attracts or turns so don't sleep don't sleep on the fragrance miss y'all i keep telling y'all that um i see people post their little memes about oh bath and body works out don't bring your bath and body works around my luxe fragrances sis do you know i'm gonna turn ahead before you if i know how to layer these right matter of fact like i said bare vanilla you ain't even gotta layer her and she's turning heads so y'all stop being bougie and get on bougie on a budget train because that's the train to be on because you can smell like many without having to spend all your coins okay <laughs> so speaking of coins if you're one of my girls who want to spend that coins and make sure it's like luxe and it's flowing and it's everything i do have a fragrance that i like this year that does smell like a lot of money um and she is a lot of money but she's worth it so this is my ysl libre guys oh my god actually let's put the logo on the front so we can just embody this bottle because the bottle is gorgeous but she smells so good she is like the perfect touch between a feminine and a masculine scent in my opinion a lot of people think that this smells like cologne um i don't think so whatsoever i think she just smells good <laughs> Um, I think she's the perfect balance like you're not smelling too feminine fruity floral but you're not smelling like you know that deep musk or that deep like bergamot of a man it's just like the perfect middle tone now you look at this bottle a lot of y'all are gonna say you didn't use much of this to say that it's your favorite fragrance oh baby don't be surprised because I do have a mini that I tried first and I actually had a mini before this that's completely empty so I had a mini I got another mini and I said why not just go ahead and get me the bottle so let me tell y'all about what her top notes and you know middle notes and base notes are YSL Libre is in the warm floral family she has top note of lavender essence a middle note of orange blossom and a big note of musk accord so just like i said guys she's not on that too feminine floral 
fruity side but she's not also on that crazy musk she has like a mix of everything you got that orange blossom you got that lavender you got that musk as a base note she's like the perfect mix of everything okay guys so now that i talked about ysl libre let's say it's a fragrance that you like but you don't want to spend the coin that comes with the ysl libre well i'm going to tell you guys about two things if you follow my channel for a while, you already know about Dossy Air. You can go on there and find inspired Lux fragrances for half the cost and a fraction of the price. I'm going to talk about one of them today. Another option for y'all is dupes, and Bath & Body Works has tons of dupes, y'all. When I tell you Bath & Body Works is coming up in the world, like, it ain't even coming up. It's been there. People just been sleeping on it, in my opinion. So, this next fragrance I'm going to talk about, if you like YSL Libre, you're going to like this. Um, they are very, very, very close cousins. Are they uh, completely identical? I think there's a little twist to them, but they are very close. Like, if you put this on, somebody will probably think you have on YSL Libre. And that is Fairy Tale by Bath & Body Works. Fairy Tale came out in the fall. It was part of the fall collection, y'all. And in my opinion, I thought she took over. And I was very surprised to see that a lot of people did not like Fairy Tale as much. And I think maybe because it bodies the YSL Libre so much that maybe people are thinking this is too much of a familiar scent but in my opinion I think it's great those girls that don't want to spend the YSL coin can still enjoy the luxury of the fragrance for a fraction of the price so as I told y'all before if you ever 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 see me put up a lotion a body wash and a spray that means she's a favorite I don't typically shop in trio at Bath & Body Works it's just not my thing but if I find this fragrance that I like and I want to layer I am going to have all three products. So let me tell you a little bit about what Fairy Tale entails. All right, guys. So Fairy Tale has in her pomegranate nectar, fresh orange blossom. So you remember the orange blossom from our YSL Libre, vanilla bean, and warm amber. And that's what shocked me too because I am not a big fan of amber. I actually do not love it at all. But Fairy Tale does not. She smells very. The best way I can um, describe fairy tale is like literally the epitome of a woman y'all like i put the lotion on my hands now and she just fills the room and she is very um boastful for being a bath and body works fragrance so i believe if you um sleep on bath and body works if you don't get no other fragrance from them um i talked in one of my previous videos about the top five scents from them and i think this should be included if i did not include this this should be included because fairy tale is that go-to girl for me okay guys so last but not least i always told you if you're going to be bougie on a budget you can also reach out to dossier and get products from them you guys know i've reviewed their products on my channel before i have some videos i'll tag them up above in the card and maybe in the description box if you want to see a little bit about the details about dossier but i do have a fragrance from them today in ambery saffron and again guys this smells amazing this is a head turner this is supposed to be inspired by the Baccarat Rouge. Um, is it 540? I think it's 540. So she's supposed to be inspired. Oh, I took the cap off and it's like, ugh, she's like taking over my life. Like, guys. And I sprayed this one day and everybody, I think I went to like a show and everybody went crazy. The people sitting next to me are like, oh my God, what do you have on? My friends were like, oh my God, you smell so good. My one friend was like, yo, you just smell, you smell sexy. And I was like, oh girl, stop, stop. Like she, she's a head turner and she's a fraction of the price. So the Ambery Saffron has in it, Saffron, Orange Blossom. So I guess that's another trend for my year, the Orange Blossom. She has middle notes of Jasmine, Plum, and Cedarwood. And she has base notes of Oak Moss, Fir Balsam, and Amber. So again, that Amber on Orange Blossom play. Now, smelling this and smelling fairy tale, I actually think, no, okay, they're a little close, but it's not as close as the YSL Libre, but this right here, y'all, if you've been eyeing the Baccarat Rouge 540 for a while, but don't want to spend the money on it, which I refuse to spend more than like $150 on a perfume, this is the way to go, y'all. She, ugh, this embodies like grown, sexy, money in the bank, pushing my you know g-wagon type vibes i don't know she just smells oh it's like it's beyond a head turner with this one <laughs> all right y'all so i have shared in depth in body with you my five to six favorite scents of 2021 you guys can probably obviously see what the trend is in all these fragrances i really gravitated i think this year towards that floral um gourmand family so i've been getting more into warmer scents 
Um, I've been pulling a little bit back from my typical fruity and even from my very feminine floral because I used to be like big feminine floral girl but I think as I push into 2022 I might tag into that family a little bit more like I used to be so some of my plans for 2022 when it comes to fragrances is to use up what I have y'all as I told you to begin in the video I have tons of stuff here that I'm going to definitely be you know using on a daily weekly basis to see what I really really like and what I'm in tune with and what I think I'm going to get again and then what I'm going to declutter and be done with um one fragrance that I'm definitely going to be trying for 2022 that I actually got for Christmas is the Chanel Chance Ida Tendre I think it's called and y'all I think when I start talking about my fragrance favorite fragrances for next year she will be on the list um i also purchased the alien goddess i believe it is i'm actually gonna grab the box so i can show y'all so this is the one i'm talking about y'all the muggler i believe i've never heard of this brand before but i actually smelt this in an ulta magazine in the moment like i opened the magazine and smelt this and i just knew i had to have it so i purchased this as well for the new year i think she might go into one of my staples we'll see because i've never actually bought something just by smelling it in like a magazine so i have a lot of things that i'm going to try for the new year but i just wanted to make sure i came on and gave y'all what my favorites were Anywho, I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you're not already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Comment down below, what were some of your favorite fragrances for 2021? What do you look forward to trying next year? And did I mention anything in here that you want to try, that you have more questions about, or even if you didn't like it? Comment down below. Make sure you guys keep that comment box rolling and keep us communicating. And I will see y'all in the next video. Thank you.